I like cheese, what passes for real cheese these days anyway. And what I found is that if I cut one piece after the other, the next piece kind of pushes the last piece off the knife. And that saves a little bit of time and aggravation because after one or two cuts, the cheese really starts to stick to the knife and it will often break apart if you try to peel it off. So I had an idea to make a more permanent thing to do this, but I thought it'd be worthwhile to build a quick prototype just to see how well it works. So to get started, I picked out a knife that I don't use anymore and I ground the edge flat and I put a bit of a bevel on there as well. This doesn't have to be super sharp, not for cutting cheese anyway. Now to make the knife pivot, I have to drill a hole through this. And this is hardened stainless steel and it's very difficult to drill. As you can see here, I've already ruined one bit. But for the prototype, the hole doesn't need to be fancy. I just need to be able to get a screw in there so that it will lever up and down. Fasten the block to the base, I'm just going to drive some brads in through the bottom. And then next I need a guide strip. And first I thought about making this so it's adjustable. But then when I thought about it, I realized I don't need this. All I want is one thickness of cheese. So I'm just going to glue this one eighth of an inch away from the blade. So after the glue dried on that, I could test it out and see how well it cuts. And I have to admit that I'm impressed. It works exactly the way I thought it would. Even better, actually. I had some concerns when I was making this that the knife would wag back and forth and make the cheese slices thicker on the end. But that didn't happen, and it's not like that would be a big deal anyway. They're just cheese slices after all. So the prototype works great, and now I want to build the real thing. And the first thing that I'm going to do is lay out a better pivot point on the tip of the knife. This time, however, I'm going to be a little bit more careful with the hole. I'm going to center punch it first. And to do the drilling, I'm going to use a carbide tip bit that just barely made it through the steel. Now for the base again, I'm going to use another piece of scrap plywood, except this is a really good quality one. And before I do anything else, I'm going to sand the surface nice and smooth. And then after that, I can make a new pivot block, once again from hardwood. And this time I'm using a bigger screw and I'm also using a washer and that'll help to keep the knife from wagging back and forth and messing up my nice precise cuts. And this finishes up basically the same way as the prototype. I'll get the pivot block glued and clamped in place and then glue and clamp the guide strip in place as well. Once again, one eighth of an inch away from the blade. And then after the glue had dried for a couple hours, I drove screws into the pivot block from beneath just to make sure that that won't come loose. And then I could do some final sanding by rounding over the corners and the edges and all that before spraying on three coats of water-based polyurethane. I let the polyurethane dry for a couple of days before putting the knife back on and trying it out. <laughs> 